more in the know, you know, and the pulse of what's happening with young people, and it's inspiring to see that. But look at the crowd at uh, in downtown; it's certainly grown. Um, as you see they've, moved out, they've moved out of Grand Park. So, so whereas Carlos Granda had seen so many people uh, almost at a rally, there's the shot where they were, and then we juxtapose to this, where now they have moved out into the streets, and it doesn't look like they're on the move so much that the Hollywood group is, but they have certainly at least moved out of the park. Yeah. Um, we're going to, speaking of on the move, we're going to go back to Hollywood and Rob Hayes and, and see if that crowd is still going by. Yep. Rob, how's it going there? It's amazing how many people turned out. Oh, that crowd, that crowd is still here. Definitely. Ellen, here's a, Jamie, if you take a, a shot down the street, it's, it's still coming. There is no end to this stream of people marching on the streets here. Go, they are heading westbound on Hollywood Boulevard right now. We're at Hollywood Vine. And this is just a, it's one of these sites that's really hard to believe when you stand here and you're surrounded by this, I guess, sea of humanity right now. It's just people chanting, people holding signs, Black Lives Matter, I can't breathe, yeah, no justice, no peace. I, I mean, you just take a look around here, and it is a very, very peaceful, very uplifting moment here. I, I feel moved. I, you know, it, it's 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 a really wonderful thing to see, and, and I just can't help but get a little more emotional about this. Well, Rob, I don't know if you were able to hear Dr. Howard when he was speaking just a moment ago, but one of the things he said was one of the things that you had mentioned a moment ago that this, he, you know. He was saying how this protest, this era is different in that you really see the human race coming together. It's not, uh, you know, one group of people protesting a thing. It is everyone gathering together for a common cause. I agree, yeah. Uh, wholeheartedly, I agree wholeheartedly. The, uh, the mix of people here is amazing. Uh, it's, it's as if, you know, it's, you took a slice of L.A., and, uh, and they all turned out. And it's a really big slice of LA, let me tell you. <laughs> yeah, I'd love to get an estimate on the crowd size. Uh... The horns haven't ha stopped, and the crowd hasn't stopped. And are, are you at least starting to see the end of the, the line there, yeah. Rob? Yeah, take, take a look at that, Philip and, uh, and Ellen. <laughs> Finally, uh, it's unbelievable. I mean, how long have we been talking to you here in Hollywood and Vine, and finally, just a steady stream of people, it's finally, it looks like we may have, we may, may see the end there. Incredible. We see the end, but it's certainly not, there's certainly hundreds of people in your camera shots, yeah. and it's just remarkable. And on the left-hand side, well, and, oh, go ahead, go ahead, Bob. Yeah, I was going to say, also keep in mind, just because this may be the end of the march at this point. This march is continuing down Hollywood Boulevard. Oh, you, they've been walking by you for at least 20 minutes now, right? At least, yeah. A solid 20 minutes, I would think. But, yeah, and it's, and it's not hit or miss. It is a steady stream of people. Yeah, earlier there were two large groups in Hollywood. I wonder if they've uh, merged into one. Uh, we'll, have to, we'll, we'll find that out shortly. Um, on, on the left-hand side of your screen, by the way, that is downtown, where they seem to be, um, they're, they're still standing still, but we'll have to see if they, they get on the move, too. Well, it sounds like Chris Christie is in Air 7 above the downtown L.A. shot, if I'm uh, correct on, oh, he's in Hollywood. So we have Chris uh, in Hollywood. So the shot on your left is downtown. And yes, they moved out of Grand Park, but there's thousands of people there. Uh, Chris, we talked to Rob Hayes just a second ago. 20 minutes, 30 minutes easily of a solid stream of people. What's the perspective like for you from Air 7? Okay, so this is shaping up to be really something that we have not seen in the last few days. First of all, the crowds are much larger. We're talking about about 3,000 people in this shot here at a minimum, maybe four. And this is going to be near Sunset Boulevard and Highland Avenue where they are marching 
several city blocks long here through the city of Hollywood. Again, that's Sunset Boulevard on the right right side of your screen. If we pan up to Hollywood Boulevard, there's a separate group of several thousand strong as well, uh, and they are at Hollywood and Cahuenga. Both groups marching in this direction. Eventually, LAPD's goal, and they have actually had conversations with the organizers, is to converge these two groups over towards Wilcox at LAPD's Hollywood division. They have uh, prepared at the station to receive these groups within a block of the station. They're not going to get them get right to the front door, but they are going to allow them to protest at one spot as we get closer to curfew time. You can see them rounding the corner here at Sunset and Orange Drive. Again, both of these groups, several thousand strong, eventually expected to meet up over at LAPD's Hollywood Division. But the mood down there is so peaceful. It is jubilant. It is a beautiful thing to see, obviously, and uh, something really to behold from up here in Air 7 HD, guys. And how far are they from that Wilcox uh, Hollywood PD? Uh, great question. Uh, they are. They, they seem to be doing a little bit of a, of a loop here. They're going to make the make the left. So I'm not sure what route they're going to take to get to, Holly, to Hollywood Division. But uh, the station's over at Wilcox. So they, uh, I, I imagine, are going to be guided by LAPD at some point towards that direction. Uh, no telling on when they'll actually make it over there, though. It is a remarkable logistic achievement if they can get all of these people in these multiple groups to arrive in one location. And especially, Chris, there's not a confrontation when they come upon uh, a line of officers. There's really communication and then direction. That's been the name of the game. Um, and I, I, you could just tell, you could just tell that the mood has changed since the original protests that we started seeing on Thursday, on Friday, and over the weekend, of course. Uh, now, there were various elements within those protests over the weekend. Everybody here seems to be playing by the rules, marching very orderly, very peacefully with their signs, chanting, making their voices heard, and uh, gathering in huge numbers. And what you don't see in the shot is a lot of PD presence. They are here. They are standing by. They're within a few blocks just in case they are needed to control the crowd, crowd control. If something goes sideways, God forbid somebody in there is up to no good. If there are agitators that branch off and cause any kind of trouble, just in case the LAPD seems to have used the last 42 to 78 uh, uh, 48 to 72 hours to really uh, mobilize their forces and strategically manage these crowds without getting in their face, without a lot of show of force. They've been able to use communication as a diplomatic move. And Chris, we heard from Dr. Tyrone Howard of UCLA, and he was saying, you know, Saturday, it was still very raw, a lot of uh, hurt emotion, and now it seems to be like people are have taken a, a bit of a pause, perhaps listen to George Floyd's family, and and now it, it, it they still want to get their message across, and it's stronger than ever if you look at this crowd. Yeah, and I experienced that this morning as I was um, walking through my own neighborhood uh, nearby in Venice. Uh, there was a very large uh, protest in Venice down Abbott Kinney Boulevard, and the mood, again, was fe it was downright festive. Um, everybody was happy to be there. It was so well organized. And LAPD, a lot of motor officers over there, they were participating, you know, not participating, but interacting with the crowd and um, really kind of enjoying the moment and just standing by just in case they were needed. It wasn't a matter of controlling the crowd. It was just a matter of keeping things orderly and basically just directing traffic. And that seems to be what we're seeing here, but just a much larger scale over here in Hollywood. Again, as I mentioned, if you combine the two crowds on Sunset now turning up free time, I think this is the result. We're gonna keep it low-key, keep it softly spoken, with no strings tying you to me. I'm happy in your company with no emotion, cause my love deserves to be free.